I was born in Memphis, a little hospital called Collins Chapel, somewhere in North Memphis. I don't know whether it's still there or not. I taught at Woodstock for two years myself, but I graduated from Woodstock High School in May of 1966. Well, I was very, very, very interested in coaching. And I found out when I went to see about getting a coaching job, the first thing the lady in administration told me, you have to be a teacher first. So I said, well, I don't really think that I'm qualified. She said, what year are you in college? I said, I'm in my last year. She asked me if I had had any education courses. And I said, no ma'am. She said, well, what we could do is we could hire you and we'd give you two years to go back and get your certification. So my degree was in English. So I was, I could teach seven through 12 English, but the job that she gave me was teaching math, science, social studies, and PE on a sixth grade level. And they gave me two years to become certified. In the meantime, my high school coach got the job as the head basketball coach at Germantown High. He asked me if I would be willing to come over and help him to be his main assistant. He says, we have an opening as a teacher in English. You'll be teaching 10th grade English. I only coached one sport. I was the assistant boys varsity coach, and I was the JV junior varsity head basketball coach. Basketball was the only sport I coached, plus I had five English classes. Well, you know, the amazing thing was I won the junior varsity championship. I think I coached JV basketball for 22 years. And out of those 22 years, I had about three championships. But I can honestly say I only had one losing season when I was a JV coach. And that was my first season over there. But ironically, I became a much better teacher. I had good co-workers. They shared material with me. And I had the outgoing personality. And that made me a pretty solid teacher. I don't, I'm not, I'll tell anybody, I was not the best teacher, but I was one of the hardest workers. I wasn't the best coach, but I was one of the hardest workers. And I think that's what's helped me in everything I've done. I've always tried to work hard. I got to be a baseball official. I did that for about 20 years. I got to umpire for the University of Memphis. I had a regular schedule with them for about 15 years. I got to umpire in the SEC for about eight years. And probably if I had not had a wife and son, I may have pursued that as a career. But my wife and son were so very important to me that I just didn't want to be away from them. For a long time, I was motivated by wanting to take care of my, my wife and my son. They were, both of those people were my heroes. Uh, my son is still my hero. I'm sure that my wife is up here in heaven looking down on us. But uh, that, that was my motivation for a long time. So my motivation is I wanna be thankful for everybody who's helped me. If somebody helps me, I feel like I need to work hard to show my appreciation. Uh, people have been good to me down through the years and I'm motivated by trying to show them just how much I appreciate them trusting me. Uh, when I first came to Chuck Hutton, I didn't know anything about the job. Once I learned it, I gave it my all every day and I still give it my all every day. It's been a real, real good situation and I'm motivated to give them my best because they're so kind to me. I feel like I owe it to them to do a good job because they gave me an opportunity. And the people that I've met here, no matter what they do, people treat me with class, and I treat them with class. And I wanna wish the best for each and everybody who works here. Uh, I have a good relationship with everybody. I speak to them. I shake hands with them. I let them know it's great to see them. It's just a really, really good situation. I think after three and a half years, I feel like I really fit in.